It's like a religion and overwhelming decision to check out these anime manga reviews Strike with the kitchen, brought by Supreme Guru, sit back, relax and listen And join in on the discussion, I ain't Supreme Guru for nothing I am anime, you know you can't click away or get away from the urge of talking manga and anime So pay close attention when I say that Guru is in the here and now and here to stay What's up people, it's the Guru, and welcome to the channel where we keep it real raw and uncut No epicness, no hype, no fanboys, I'm just a real so today's topic, boom, you saw it in the heading. Let's get on it. Um, we're gonna talk about the big three. That's One Piece, Naruto, and Bleach. I know it ain't the big three in Japan, you know, the big three as it stands in America. That's the most famous, the most popular anime mangas in America right now. Most of the well, most discussed that is. So I don't, it is what it is. So this is what I've been thinking, man. I've been seeing like a, a lot of these series are draw, um, drawing out drawing out their storylines and stuff so I'm just are, are, so I'm trying to think are do you think are they trolling us are the creators or the industry or whatever the companies trolling the fans to try to is it like is this a big money grab or is this like a a, a, a plot device to make it seem like uh, to make more drama suspense because uh, a lot of these channels a lot of these um series have got Storylines have been going on forever, like uh, One Piece, we still know what One Piece is, uh, we still know the true story of uh, Goldie Roger, we really don't know what the Will of D is, you got things coming on with the moon, uh, the next straw, who gonna be the next straw hat, uh, and the Zorro still got his eye, you know what I'm saying, so it's crazy, it did, you know, with Bleach, we still out trying to figure out, was it Grim Jow to kill um, Kirge, um, is Byakuya really dead? Uh, is Rukia dead? And a uh, man stuck in a ball. Uh, as far as um, Ichigo, which I don't mind because Ichigo is kind of boring right now. So, and then um, with Naruto, we just finally found out about Toby, and the suspense came to an end. We all was trying to figure out who Toby was. You know, we didn't know if it was Easy E or Mariah Carey or something. So we found out that it was Obito. Big letdown. Then we found out that it was over a chick. A bigger letdown. So. But still yet, we trying to find out what connection he has with Madara, um, things like that. So I know you said in time, give it time, and we'll just we'll find out these things. But like some of these things have been dragging on for a long time, and um, so is it, do you think this is like just a way to make more episodes and more uh, manga chapters to get more money? As far as dragging out these storylines for so long, these plots for so long, because One Piece is going on for what 15 years now, and we still seem like we're still on. They go on day one, you know, and uh, so it's like going on. So I'm just thinking, like, are they trolling us, man? And and then at the end, this is another question. At the end, you know, like, seem like when uh, it's, it's going. Do you think this way is it really creating suspense, or it's going to make us feel like you know you stop caring about it because it's been dragging on so long, you start losing interest in something like that. In case in point, when we found out who Toby was, it was everybody was let down by it. Then we found out the reason why he was, um, what he did, what he did. We've been even more let down. So it's like right now, all that suspense, it's got to be a big bang at the end of it. When you, this is like, when it look like a little firecracker pop, you know, as far as Naruto went, that like turned a lot of people off. So by dragging out these series and dragging out these plots, you know, is it a way to, is it going to end in failure? Um, is this a big money grab? Or what do you think? Is it a plot device? Tell me what you um what you think about this uh question and discussion. This is the guru. I'll let you later. Peace, fellas.